Hi, in this video, we will learn about segmentation fault in C or C++ programming. So I'm connected to my virtual machine. Let me maximize the screen and let me increase the font size. So before starting, uh, uh, I will tell you what are the reasons of segmentation fault. Segmentation fault means uh, these are type of one type of runtime error, which we can get because of, um, you know, it, it can we can see this error if we are trying to access a null pointer or trying to access a memory address which is which we are not supposed to read or touch so let me create a basic program in c programming and i'll show you we'll go step by step i'll call it segmentation.c and uh, we'll just try to print something here So in this folder, we will just try to, in this folder, we will just try to print hello. We'll just say slash n percentage d hello. And we will say percentage, oh, sorry, i here. So this is just basic program I'm trying to create. And after printing this, we can just again say print f to separate it from the next message. Let me first run it. What is output? Segmentation dot c two segmentation dot out. Um. Okay. Yeah. My bad. To be high for the. It will compile if I run. It will just print. Um, you know. Say hello. 20 times starting from 0 to 19th. Now let me make it better now. So instead of printing continuously, we'll just give up some sleep here. Sleep of one second. Just to, to make it look better. And header file to sleep on Linux is I believe include USTD uh, what is a header file I'm not able to recall USTD dot H I hope so this will work no this is this is not working let me Second, let me find the header file for this. So I'm not able to recall. Yeah, you here yeah, found it. Put it back to the screen. Let me edit this. It is uni, it is uni std dot go back and compile one more time so this was compiled and if i'm running so you will see it will print and it will take a break of one second before printing the next one so this program is running fine no issue with that now we will talk about the segmentation how we can throw how we can you know have this binary throwing segmentation fault so we will wait for it to finish now once this is done i'll go back to this file and what i will do is just for example i will take one pointer and i will assign null to it and uh, what i will do in this for loop i'll check here if i equal to equal to 10 then what to do is i will try to print the value of pointer since this is integer type pointer, we can say percentage d, and I will try to print its value. Now remember, this is this pointer is pointing to null, or this pointer is pointing to null, and we are trying to access this pointer. So basically, we are trying to you know have segmentation fault here. So 
once we once i is equal to 10 once i reaches to 10 it will basically try to print and since ptl is pointing to null and if you are trying to dereference it using star then instead of printing some value it will not print zero basically it will throw segmentation fault let's see how how, how does it work let me save it and compile it one more time it got compiled now let me run and see what will happen so it's printing just we need to just wait for the tenth message here it is it should be nine actually zero to nine now it will get see see if you see here segmentation fault Odom got created so so two things here either we can analyze the codem or we can you know run this binary again using gdb gdb tool to find the actual cause of segmentation fault so gdb helps us identifying the function name or the line number which is causing the segmentation fault now how to do this so basically we have this file now so how to use gdb we can just say gdb command and we can pass binary name and we can hit enter after this you see here message no debugging symbol found in segmentation fault so there is i need to go back and you know i'm getting this error because if you want to compile it you if you want to you know execute this using gdb we have to compile this with debug debug option so for that we have like hyphen g hyphen g what it does is it will enable debug information in the binary so if i compile nothing if i just run it so i don't need to run because we have already ran it last time now if i directly if i will directly run it with gdb so now you see this reading symbols from segmentation dot out now if i want to run it i just say run so you will see the same output here hello but here you will see some extra stuff so once it prints the tenth after printing the tenth something will happen here so you see this program receives segmentation fault so segmentation fault is nothing but a, a signal actually or interrupt which is which we say sig uh, which is of type sig s e g e v or segmentation fault so you if you see here it says in main function there is a segmentation in main function of this file at line number 40 there is a issue which is causing there is a line which is causing segmentation fault at line number 40 so so as we discussed last time we are trying to you know dereference a null pointer that's why we are getting segmentation fault so we'll go back i'll quit from here yes i'll go back and we'll try to fix the segmentation fault I'll go back and I will see here. I just I can just say here provide a PTR is not equal to null. So basically, what we are doing is we are just making sure that we are not printing a null pointer. If I come back, just compile it again and run it again with GDB and just say run. I should not get segmentation fault because we have handled this condition actually if it is null then we are not printing it if it is not null then only we will print so this program should run or without any issue this will exit without any issue because we have handled the situation yeah so exit it normally i can just quit so this was the example of you know finding the segmentation fault in c or c plus binary same thing you can do with c plus plus just uh, yeah, I know same thing you can use GDB only so this is one example and uh, when you have you know when you have big application it is difficult to track the segmentation fault so GDB is the good option there so and sometimes it is not uh, you know it is not easy to uh, you know run the binary independently so in that case you know your application may require some extra flag or application parameters so accordingly you can you know run your binary by passing extra parameter to it so this is all about this video thanks for watching let me close this window